I still can't afford Goodwill, but boy do I love looking at luxury goods, so I still go there every chance I get. Check out some of the awesome crap I saw this week, like this dirty old copy of The Sixth Sense on VHS. It comes in a plastic bag, and it is not in good condition. Truly a rare find. Have you been searching for an open can of Milk Replacer Plus for kittens? If so, that's kind of weird, but I do have some great news for you. This one is half full, and you don't have to worry about peeling off one of those annoying seals. This container of sunscreen is $3.99, which is a great deal when you consider the fact that it is definitely used and it has the original owner's name on it. Here's a piece of art that I really can't explain. It appears to be a large Duracell battery inside of a classy black frame. Must be a rich people thing. Speaking of art, check out this awesome container of watercolor paint. It's $1.99 and the only thing missing is the watercolor paint. Maybe you can fill it up with this 2 ounce container of brown acrylic paint. I usually get mine from the poor people store for 99 cents, but at the Goodwill Boutique, you'll pay $1.99 of course. Are you planning the perfect vacation? This incredible CD-ROM from AAA is filled with maps and information that will make your family's 1999 summer vacation unforgettable. And if you're going to be on the road, you'll need some snacks. How about this can of garbanzo beans from American Beauty, or some of these sunny farm green beans? And you can take that bean party up a notch by adding some delicious turkey gravy to the mix. Don't leave without grabbing this gorgeous empty shampoo bottle. It's $2.99, but that's a small price to pay when you think about all the fun you'll be having with it. Are you interested in owning one of Robert Reinhardt's 2009 football trophies? Probably not, because what you really want is two Robert Reinhardt football trophies. You'll be the envy of every Robert Reinhardt fan in America. Alright you one percenters, which of these products were you most interested in this week? Let me know in the comments.